cold, isn't it? Oh, oh my god! Whew. I'm dreaming. Uh, yeah, you are. And since we are. Uh, do you want to talk to you? Well, I don't know why you're asking me. I'm gonna dream, so you're a part of my subconscious. <laughs> okay, I'm shushing. So, what do you want to talk about? Christmas. What a funny kind of. You know, festive season, holiday, celebration. Event to celebrate. I, oh, it makes me sick. And it's tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. Well, when we, I mean, when I wake up, it will be Christmas. But you know, like, what about it? Three years ago, something happened. Something changed. Santa Claus stopped coming. And all of a sudden, did you do something crazy like a kill a dead baby that eats it? Uh, uh, or potentially kill I or double bang. So I hit or like drink blood, set someone's house on fire. Well, what did you expect? You crossed the line there, my friend. It was the one time, and I was so good after I was told. I, I was such a good boy, but he never came. And then that night, something changed within me. Something wasn't the same. Did you just quote, defying gravity? Shh. Then the next Christmas Eve, I hatched a plan. A plan that I had orchestrated all throughout the previous year. Sorry, you set up a burning fireplace as a trap for Santa Claus. I mean, seriously, that is so unoriginal and just silly, you know, like, it's boring. I mean, what if the kid didn't even have a fireplace, huh? I thought I was just sorry that for a warning. And shut up! This is an emotional journey for me, okay? Anyway, I waited and I waited for hours, but he never came. Anyway, then I thought, if Santa Claus never came, even if he couldn't ever come. That was my thought. That's what it was about. You know, they never believe me. Santa Claus is real.